parties. I did say I would come and join you. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. There's Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy, you're a very, very good man. You really are. And uh, thank you very much for coming and joining us and being fussed on. I think it's 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 so important, all the lovely, lovely people. And I think it's just great to see so many clever, interesting people coming and joining us on the TikTok Live. That's what it's all about. And uh, somebody was a bit taken aback when they saw me. They said, I haven't seen you for years. Top man, uh, dinky do. You're a top man, Johnny Boy. I can tell you there's Batfink and and Mickey coming and joining us as well. This is excellent now. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, but there we are, a little bit late in the evening. And uh, but I did say around about nine o'clock. You know, good evening from Carlisle, Dinky Do. We love Carlisle. There we are, Warwick Road, Warwick Road, fantastic. And uh, up to Araby, Araby, I Araby, all that sort of thing, London Road. Fantastic, Sir James. <laughs> Great. We love Carlisle. A fabulous, fabulous place. Now, welcome, everybody. Come and join us. It's Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Dinky do Xbox. Fantastic. Raffles. Aye, Raffles. Light Raffles. Good quality stuff, that is. Morton. Morton. Fantastic. Bela. Bela. Mon the Sturgeon says uh, Enigma. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, absolutely good news all round really i think it's going to be a straight run now right through to the home run fantastic and we'll see what happens within the next few weeks i was uh, very very annoyed that it became party political that was attacking her because it's actually a parliamentary procedural matter i would have said and not political at all uh, just because they're a political institution the parliament doesn't mean everything should be politics and political so there you are did you used to live in couple near charlie I did Gypsy Boy. I lived in Couple. Very, very nice. And uh, many, many a good night I had in Couple. There was a lovely little pub there. I don't think it's there anymore now. What's the best sandwich? Well, I was once sitting outside Garden Art in Paris on Le 14 Juillet, the 14th of July, Bastille Day, and the waiter came up. He said, Oui, monsieur, qu'est-ce que vous désirez? What do you wish? And I said, Oh, le sandwich uh, jambon. And I said, De. And he went, De, monsieur? I said, Yes, yes, we oui, oui, do. And uh, I think I thought it was going to be two little sandwiches, you know, like we get in a packet. But it was two huge baguettes stuffed with ham. So I thought, well, I'll just have to eat them slowly. Hi, mate. Uh, how are you? You're aboard. Scottish. Loving it. There we are. My dad says he remembers you. Absolutely. Absolutely. He would do. Fantastic. Nice part of the world down there. I did thoroughly enjoy it. And, of course, I think, are you not... Halfway there on the railway line. Charnock Richard, all that. Scotty, Peter, lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Welcome, welcome. Best response so far. Ah, there's excellent there. These people are excellent responders, Mr. Plod. There is no doubt about that. More likes can attract more viewers, it says here. So there we are. So like, 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 do like. Follow me. Come and join us. Scotland forever, says Matty. I can't disagree with that, you know. Are you real Scottish? Well, I hope so. I could dance you a real. Uh, so would that prove it to you? What supermarket do you shop in? Ooh, several supermarkets. Absolutely. But a lot of local shops as well. Come and follow me, guys. Follow, follow. There we are. There's Ailey joining us. Dinky do, Ailey. Lovely to have you with us. Did you used to be on 105.4 Northwest Real Radio? I did indeed, Neil. Century Radio it were at the time. And then I got replaced by, by Jeremy Kyle. He took over my job when I left. So there we are. I'm from Edinburgh. Ah, oh, Scottish Jamie. Excellent part. Edinburgh. We love Edinburgh. Quality. There we are. <laughs> it's good stuff, you know. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my time in Edinburgh working at Scott FM. There's Angelina Dinky Do. It's funny, there's people running scripts here. Ask your religion, ask this, ask your pronouns. Just a lot of nonsense, really. Have you had the vaccine yet? No, I'm not old enough 
for the vaccine yet, but I will be getting it. Scotty, hope you're well. Love from the Cross family. Louise, how lovely to have you with us. Up the Belfast, says Derek. Derek, up the Belfast yourself. Uh, is Nation Radio good? I've not listened to it, says the happy squirrel. Uh, well, all I can tell you is McClue's not on it at the moment. They went for the love songs. There's J-Dog, Dinky Doo, Scotty, Dinky Doo, J-Dog. Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue, says Born Doo. There's a lovely bit of rhyming for you. Live on TikTok, on the big one, I say. Nice to meet you. You do Scotland proud. I thank you, Jamie. Lovely to meet you as well. And dinky do, I say. Now, I've got lots and lots of uploads for you. Uh, so there they are. They're all on uh, Scotty McClue's TikTok, at Scotty McClue. Follow me, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rob. So excellent stuff. Three years, my goodness me. Hi, says Max. Hi, Dinky Doo. There we are. Everybody is joining us. Tremendous. Scotty, how are you from Karim? Karim in Glasgow. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Any uh, we nibbles at the hoose yet, Karim? Any more chit chat on that one? You don't have to say though. That's your business. But uh, it's always interesting. And remember, it only takes one. And it's bingo. Fantastic. If you just joined us, folks, Scotty McClure live with you. Dinky do. Please say hi, says Max. I will, Max. No problem at all. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? Says uh, Ebby. Ebby, Dinky do. And there's Tommy and Sadie have just joined us. Guys, also remember, subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Very, very important there. Excellent stuff. And uh, who have we got here? Angus. Nice to have Angus with us. A good Scottish name there. I would say viewings tomorrow, Scotty. Nervous. How's want the couple are being greedy? So there we are. Now, uh, no, no, don't you take any nonsense from anybody, Karim. You are in charge. Scotty, you should be first minister, never a dull moment. Could you imagine me in the Scottish Parliament as first minister? There we are. And uh, what do we got here, Dinky Do, mate? High five. High five to you, Balby. Excellent stuff. Wonderful. Can I have a shout out, please? I'm in Northern Ireland. Ryan, of course you can have a shout out. And hands across the seat here. I say, there we are, so fantastic. Thank you for sending me likes, Kareem. Guys, follow me, please, if you're just joining. Make sure you're followed up there. Follow yourself up. How can I get a shout out if I make you laugh? Oh, Warzone, I think you've done that. Ho, ho. <laughs> can you say hi to Chris? He's a friend. I'm trying to get 50 TikTokers to say his name. Well, I've just said it. Hi, Sonny. I said Chris. So there we are. Fantastic. Now, um, and is that your friend's actual name? Is he called after something you would fry up in the morning? There we are. Nuts Corner near Kremlin. I know the Kremlin. Absolutely. No problem at all. Can you call me out, please, Captain? Of course we can, sir. There we are. That's you called out. Fantastic. Uh, yes, mate. Absolutely. All sorted out. Good for you, Sonny. There we are. Well, that's it. Done now, isn't it? So you should be one big happy bunny. Yes, yes, absolutely. Come and join us, Scotty McClure. Where's your best place to go on holiday? The house is quite nice, actually. You can have a nice holiday in the house. But I quite like going up to the northeast of Scotland, round about Lossy Mouth. Is that you on the wall? No, I'm off the wall. <laughs> There's me on the wall with the tulips, the lovely, lovely tulips. So there we are. How are you coping in COVID? Well, what I'm doing is I'm doing a lot of live streaming on TikTok. And that uh, that helps everybody. It keeps us all a bit cheery because the news, how depressing's the news? One sad thing after another sad thing another sad thing and have you noticed you're usually having your tea at the time when uh, when the news is on is that your pet horse no 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 that's pegasus oh that's pegasus yes um to mount on to 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 ride to heaven on pegasus must mount 
So there you are, fantastic. The flying horse. There we are. Have you ever had a jar in the flying horse? Hey, Scotty. Hi, Angie. Thanks again for coming and joining us. Can I get a shout out from Millbrook in Cornwall? You certainly can, Sonny. We likes Cornwall. And uh, we says to everybody, morning. There we are. Uh, now, Reese, I think you need to go and grow up a wee bit. Maybe take your head out the gutter and say to yourself, can I actually do better with this when I get a real quality live stream with Scotty McClue on TikTok? Is that the best you can do? You see what I mean? So ask yourself about that. Oh, the big planes from Lucy Mouth. Yes, do you like police officers? A lot of my family were police officers. So there we are. So I'm a massive, massive fan. They're fantastic, you know, and very, very helpful, I say. Now, who have we got here? Hi, I'm new here. Maria, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcast for the first lord of the internet. Yes, very, very famous man, apparently I am. But uh, we're just popping up during the lockdown to have a good old chat with everybody. So you're very welcome. So there we go. Whoa, just asking. Reese, were you just asking or can you do better, I say. So there we are. Uh, who have we got here? Gadji, I think we'll just... Uh, Say a quick bye-bye to you. Can we say bye-bye to Gadji, everybody? There he goes. Just being silly. There we are. Being coarse. Coarse, he's gone. So there you are. So not hearing any more from Gadji. Uh, so there we go. Chuck it or scran it, Scotty? Uh, oh, if you're having chuck or scran. Food. Food. You're talking food, aren't you? I know. You see, I'm not just an athlete, you know. I know all about these things. I'm also a black belt in carry. Okay. Fantastic. There we go. True, true. Uh, Bonds etched his name in a window in Finliston. John Young, you are quite correct in that because uh, I knew um, Sir Gordon and Lady Macmillan and uh, I remember sitting having afternoon tea with them and we discussed all sorts of things and of course Bums had etched his uh, his name in there yes absolutely you're quite right um the house was was it William Kidston so there you are what about that then you know and Lady Macmillan uh, her father was a cavalry general he was General Blakeston Houston what about that? Isn't that fantastic? They were, they were lovely, lovely people, the Macmillans. Uh, didn't know pensioners were doing daily streams. Are they, Ethan? Who's doing a daily stream? Let us know. Fantastic. You know, so there we are. Your teeth are so white. Absolutely. And uh, Reese, yes, I do indeed. I know it very well indeed. Fantastic. Did you know that John Knox was a visitor there too? I did, Johnny. Yes. Absolutely, because the house was remodelled, I think, around the 1890s. It was remodelled again, 1880s, something like that. Fantastic old house. There we are. And as I say, the Macmillans were lovely. Uh, Sir Gordon was uh, was their Giles. He was their Giles, and he was the uh, GOC, the general officer commanding the army in Scotland. And so was his son. Uh, as well, John. John uh, was the GOC as well. Do you know history? Um, apparently I do, Maria. Yes. What did you want to know about? What's your opinion on yeast? Well, I think, um, I don't know about value, but it will rise. There's no doubt about that. And uh, yeast can also cause fungal infection. Uh, did you know that? Uh, too much yeast. Body yeast. There we are. King Henry the Third. Ooh, you're going well back with Henry the Third. There we are, fantastic. Scotty, not heard your voice in centuries, says Sam. Thank you, do, Sam. Lovely to have you with us. 
Spot on, sir. There we are, Christopher. You wish happy birthday to my mate. Yes, of course I can. There we are. And uh, they rebuilt the old brig in the early 1960s. They did, John. I'm just wondering if it was 62 or 63, round about then. Tell me about the old brig, though. I mean, can traffic go across it, or is it pedestrian? Are you allowed on it at all? I don't know the history. All I saw was rubble on the top of it and the nith flowing fairly fast down below it. Scotty, you should come on on Friday nights. Remember the old days? Even my late mum loved it. Ah, Johnny boy, the Friday nights with Scotty McClure. Do you remember that? Uh, and then we stopped doing Friday nights, and we used to do uh, Sunday till Thursday. Uh, how long have you been live today? Not very long, Danny. Um, just maybe about uh, ooh, 15, 15 minutes or something like that. So, uh, so don't panic. But I did pop up earlier to say hi to everybody. Fantastic stuff. Thank you for sending me the TikToks. Robert Burns, you're so kind, says Maria. Not at all, Maria. It's a privilege. Absolutely. What's the latest on Ocean Scotty? I haven't heard. I think the COVID is holding everything up. But as soon as I do, I'll let you know. Hi to you, Scotty. We'll be on for a while. Uh, I'll pop up for a wee while, Robin, just to have a wee night-night chat with everybody before everyone pushes off to bow balls. The old brig and traffic, it's about six feet wide. Are you thinking of the McClure Street Bridge? No, 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 no. I'm thinking of the old brig outside Burns's house. Am I right? So there, I love your accent, says Maria. Thank you, Maria. Lovely of you to say so. Thank you, do. How do you do? We're very good, big falls. Love to have you with us and welcome, welcome. There's Tia joining us. We like that. Dinky do. How do you do? And Matty has joined us as well. Lots of people joining us. Guys, follow us. Very important. Please follow. I get thousands and thousands of viewers. You're welcome, Maria. Thank you. Thousands of viewers, but only a few hundred followers. And thank you to everybody who sends me diamonds and coins and presents and all these things. The old brig's a mile away from Burns' house. No, I think this, what's right at the door, John? So there we are. This was definitely the old brig. The seagulls were sitting on the rubble, and it did look very narrow. So there you are. I could tell you that. So there we are. St. Michael's Brig has come up as at Michael's Brig. I got that the other day with predictive text for St. Patrick's Day. Was your dad from Scotland? And did he live here? Yes, he did, Jonesy. My dad was very much from Scotland. Much for you sell your bonnet for? Ooh, need to be half a crown, I think, probably. Now, I paid quite a wee bit for this bonnet new. I can't remember how much it was. Uh, I wonder if it was, would it have been eight pounds or? I remember signing a contract for a radio station. And they said, is there anything else you think you might need? I said, well, I think you should run to a new bonnet for Scotty McClue. Up the Celtics says nibble my ear. So there you are. It's not a very nice thing to say, is it? Poor old Celtic, what harm have they done you? I want to watch you more and more when you're live. Right, Maria, bless you. What a lovely thing to say. Tell us a joke. A joke? I threw away my old vacuum cleaner the other day, and I said, see ya, sucker. <laughs> to support a united Ireland. Well, it's not up to me to support a united Ireland. It's up to the Irish people, north and south, to decide if they wish to have a reunification of Ireland. So remember, you've had a united Ireland for thousands of years. And it's only very recently, it's just coming up, be 100 years next year since the six counties were annexed. So there you are. So, I mean, Ireland has been united, really. It's just a, a blip. It's the same with Scotland. Scotland was independent for thousands of years, and it just happens to be about, was it 313 years, 314 years, since it decided to go into a union with 
England. Dinky do. How are we doing? Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. Are we discussing Ayrshire Crab? You know we discuss everything on here. And if you want to discuss Ayrshire, I so see no reason why you should not do that. There we are. You're thinking of the Buns Museum, not the house. Ah, Johnny Young, is that right? So what, you would come out the house and across a week in a cobbled road and there was the brig. What brig is that? Right, that's what I'm telling you. For you, Fee, Fee here, Fee TikTok. Do you know anything about Thor from Norse mythology? Yes, Thor. Thor was the god of war. And he was the one that founded Thursday or Thor's Day. Thor's Day, is that water? Yes, that's water. Ha ha, says Maria. There, did you like that one? So glad Nicholas Sturge has been cleared of the vote of no confidence. Was an expected failure. Listen, I didn't think for one moment she wouldn't be cleared. Because, I mean, you know, the, the things were not right about that committee, I have to say that, and also, it shouldn't have been politicised. We're talking parliamentary procedure. So the other parties should have been professional enough to say, no, 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 don't, don't turn this into politics, for goodness sake, that makes us look very, very amateur indeed. So there we are. So, I mean, I think the, the parties that came out against Nicola, they will pay the price for that now at the ballot box. Just watch, mark my words. Tell the 10p joke, Scotty. The 10p joke. Which one was that? Crap. I'm never charged for a for a joke. Scotty, we in Greenock as a boy. You'll need an umbrella. Oh, Johnny boy. I have webbed feet. I have big orange rubber feet like a swan, like a duck. I have a question. I'm typing it. No problem, Maria. Thoughts on the slave trade? Well, you put it into context. No way could you ever condone the slave trade. But if you look upon it, if you could say, apart from the dreadful cruelty of the whole thing and the exploitation, you were looking at a question of cheap labor, you know, and... Uh, the other side of the slave trade, although it looks wonderful that the slaves were emancipated, the emancipation of the slaves in the uh, early 1800s, the problem that you also had was these people had to feed and clothe and, and find an income for themselves. And a lot of them would have died through starvation and all that sort of thing afterwards. There's two sides to it. And the emancipators also were thinking, like people thought at the end of the British Empire, um, this is not as profitable as it was, so I think we'll have to dump the slaves. We'll have to let them go because they're not bringing us in the profits they did bring us in. And uh, if you were to knock down properties connected with slavery, you would knock down virtually every city, town and village in the UK. It's as simple as that. So we need to stop being historical revisionists, own up that that's what happened in context and not be pulling down statues and chucking them in the river. So there you are, especially when people don't know the whole history. So that's what needs to be looked at as well. And uh, apologies, of course. What can you do? There's Kevin. I really don't like the SNP. Well, don't watch them, Kevin, but ask yourself, why you don't like them and make sure you know every single thing it's possible to know about them before you say that. Because remember, the Scottish National Party, not nationalist, the Scottish National Party, Scottish nationalism is the antithesis of English nationalism. Do you see what I mean? It's the opposite. With a guy from England posting that it was fascist. He just does not understand it. So there you are. So what Scotland's looking for 
is a better economic deal and a bit of respect and civility from those who are running Westminster. And that's not too much to ask ever. So there you are. So just check that out. You rock, says Marie. I do my best. Uh, Scotland accidentally joined the UK. Well, it was, yes, it was pushed into it. There was jiggery pokery. There was, and the big boys needed a few quid. But I mean, they were bribed for as little as 15 pounds, 20 pounds, 25 pounds. I think one got 100 pounds in silver, silver, silver. You see? What inspired you to want to do TikTok? The people, Maria. I've looked at all sorts of sites and I appear regularly on other platforms. I pop up, you'll see Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, which is a sort of repository for the videos over the years. But we do do lives there occasionally as well. But TikTok is international. It's very successful and it lets you have access to the audience. So there we are. So it's a chance that uh, people can keep in touch with Scotty McClue because the nation were absolutely heartbroken when I was taken off the Scottish radio station. All of Scotland thought, what's going on? The first time we've had a really, really successful radio program that we all loved and could join in with and along comes somebody on a radio station and takes it off. Why? Do you see what I mean? That sort of thing. So that kind of madness. You're a great lover of Inverclyde, but I'm thinking you're more Kilmacomb than the port. Not at all, John Young. I know the port like the back of my hand. I have taken a wee trip up the Clunbray in my time. And if you're a port man, do you remember, do you remember Harry Whitley? Do you, how far back do you go? Uh, now, who have I got here? Anakin. Right, Anakin, have a read at what you've put there. Ask yourself why you've put it there. And ask yourself, is that really as clever as you ever want to be? Is that you reached the end of your brick in terms of intellect? Are you just going to sit in the gutter for the rest of your natural puff? Ask yourself that and come back to me. I won't ban you just now because you're too daft. Uh, Scotland want to stay in the UK. Who's told you that, Kevin? Where did you get that from? Remember, it was a very, very, very close run thing and there was a lot of misconstruing the truth from pro-unionist people, pro-unionist media, pro-unionist newspapers. Now, I think the next time there's a referendum, people will ignore all that stuff and make up their own minds. Yes, all that, that's what's going on there. Fantastic. So there we are. Your eyes are so pretty. Maria, you say such lovely things. I thank you. You're a great champion of Inverclyde. So why did you think Kill Malcolm, Kill Malcolm would be my thing? So there we are, Kill Malcolm. I remember Susie, 22 years married, you're fun and funny. Jonesy, yes, we've just uh, popped it up so you can hear it again. Yes, dinky do. There we are. Do you know the monkey house in Bishopton? Uh, the Pickards, it's Pickard on the estate, Glasgow Landlords, A.E. Pickard. Yes, and I think, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I think it, all the work on that house stopped at one point for Mackin House, for Mackin. Yes, excellent. Lovely old, lovely old house, the monkey house. And of course, it's all, um, VSC says formalin, yes, yeah, for Mackin with a K. And, uh, of course, now it's, uh, it's divided up into private, several private properties. But I think I heard the inside story at the time from an old gentleman who said that all the tools, the joiner's tools and everything were just left. They just downed tools and the house sat for a long time. But it's a lovely house and I do like the monkeys. So there we are, fantastic, very beautiful. Uh, boring, oh James, are you boring? At least you've confessed. 
And, uh, you know, let's see if we can uh, interest you, James. Poor old James has confessed to being boring. There we are. For Mackin, that's it. For my kid. So do you think Biden will get a still lift for the plane? I felt sorry for him falling. Oh, yes, poor Sal. Somebody should have actually helped him up there. Uh, they ran out of money. Ah, I see, Johnny. Right, absolutely, uh, at the time. So that might have been, what, in the 1930s? It's not that old a house. A.E. Picard was a Yorkshireman, and he had a huge house in the West End at Great Western Road. And on the way in, he used to put, Good morning, have a lovely day. Glas Welcome to Glasgow. Loch Sloy. What an amazing piece of engineering. So there we go. Absolutely. Can somebody help that poor soul out? He's just said he's boring. What's his name? Poor thing. There's D. James. James, yes. He's very bored. He's a poor soul. There you are. Do you think you'll get another dog? I don't know, Jonesy. I've had a dog all my life. But um, I think once this uh, lockdown's eventually finished, I might do a little bit of traveling because I'm not well-traveled world-wise. So there you are. What type of bonding is present in sodium fluoride? So like bonding is present in sodium fluoride. So I don't know what the symbol for sodium fluoride would be. I was going to tell a, a sodium joke and I thought, nah. Yeah, so uh, yes, any would definitely any any F L. I don't know. You weird says PP. Uh, you weird PP. You weird. So there we are. You weird for sound. Um, I got done lovely pictures of my old Vespa in front of the monkey house. Ah, the Vespa scooter. Did you do up a Vesta, a Vespa, and then a Lambretta was the other one, wasn't it? Favourite beach in Scotland? Oh, very difficult to say. Um, I think the uh, Silver Sands of Calgary on Mull. Very, very beautiful. But then again, I used to do a lot of walking along the beach at uh, Bell Helvey uh, in Aberdeen. And uh, Montrose is a lovely beach. Uh, where else have we got a lovely beach? Very nice beach at Ely on the 4th. You know, very interesting. There's so many. Uh, Brotty Ferry, you're well traveled in the airwaves. Oh, yes, I think we've been, we've been about. Favorite beach, absolutely, John Young. So there's so many. Uh, yes, bossy boy, maybe. I ate a Vespa curry. No, that's a Vesta. Calgary's not silver, that's Mora. Well, what's Calgary? What would you call it? The Golden Sands. So there we are. I thought it was the silver, it was the silver sands of Mora. Yes, absolutely. Malig, Malig, lovely beach at Creel. Yes, indeed. And uh, good day, Scotty. Opinions on haggis. Heard it's mushed up sheep's arms. Well, you're quite right, Carvator. Of course it is. You're, you're not really telling us anything we didn't know. Uh, have you been to Portugal? Yes, I have, to the Algarve. I landed at Faro. Fantastic. Nairn or Balmidi? Uh, Balmidi. Bamidi, definitely, yes, absolutely. Lossy has got a lovely beach as well. What's the most famous genetic disease? I don't know. I mean, psoriasis. I've got a little bit of psoriasis. That's genetic. That was a present from my dear father, who's a lovely man, so I don't mind. And uh, I suppose diabetes might be. So there we are. But uh, yes, would you call it genetic there's another word for it. I'm just trying to think what the word would be. Erskine Beach Base. Oh, dear. Johnny Boy, that's not a very nice thing to say. The beach at Aberdeen is Balmedi. Where did I say Balhelvey? Sorry, Balmedi. That's right. Uh, that's too wrong, Scotty. Have you had too wrong, John? I shall correct you. Do not panic. So there we are. Transmitted. No. No, not transmitted. So the hereditary, hereditary is one. So you would say a hereditary. The lovely blue eyes, McClue. Thank you, Dee, very kind of you. There we go. Now, who else have we got? There's uh, Derek's just joined us. Dinky do, Derek. Lovely to have you with us. Hereditary. Yes, that's the 
stuff. And there's another one that means it wasn't inherited. So that's the thing. Uh, Addison's is another one, yes. Uh, but I think the most common would probably be um, diabetes, type 1 diabetes. How's your day being, Scotty? Dinky do. You deserve more followers than this tiny amount. Oh, don't worry. Never worry about that because it goes into thousands at the end of the show. So there you are, although people are just coming and joining. I mean, I deserve, I think, the biggest audience TikTok can manage. But if everybody doesn't know you're on, then that's it. When did you get your accent from the TV? Uh, I think I've always had this accent. I'm back. My phone just died. Ah, RIP the phone, we say. No, no, this goes huge. I would say about maybe... Half a million people have seen me since I started joining this, uh, since I joined this, you know. And although it's just small amounts coming and join us here and there, it depends on the time of day and the word is out there and then people can watch it afterwards, you see. Although I think live is the time to see it. No doubt about that. And it's just, it's good exercise for me. If you imagine an athlete going for a run or doing a few sit-ups, McClue doing a, a TikTok live, it just keeps everything in trim. Hey, from Germany, from Bavaria. Yes, from the Bavarian Motorwerken. Yes, BMW. Let's have a moment of silence for all the people who have not come across Mr. McClure. Absolutely, D, the poor souls who haven't found out that McClure is live on TikTok. There we are. And I would imagine the platform let a fair number of people see it because I say, you know, quite a few thousand watch. You've got to build this up, though it can uh, blow up rapidly. Do you sleep with your bonnet on? I do, yes, yes, especially in the winter because a lot of the cold leaves your head. What's your favourite castle in Scotland? There's one or two I could just sit down and live in. Others I really wouldn't thank you for. So there you are. But uh, very difficult to say, um, I, I like some of the big country houses. Hopton House is a nice one. There's no way Scotty could manage a moment of silence. Happy Squirrel. I like the picture behind you. Do you like that one? And there's my beautiful tulips that my lovely neighbour sent when she'd heard the dog had passed away. So there we are. Scotty used to remind me of John McCritic, the horse racing broadcaster. Yes, all that. As well, I'd be doing TikTok, wouldn't I, rather than Tic Tac. <laughs> London versus Scotland, who would win? Well, there's 12 million people in London and 5 million people in Scotland. So you do the math. Hi, Scott. Sorry to hear about the dog. Not at all, Eloise. He was uh, nearly 14 and a half. 14 years, 4 months, and 2 weeks, and the wee soul was just getting done. So that was that. He was just tired. Can we kindly ask for the phenomenal results of two truths and a lie? You can, crab fishing. Have you ever played Gaelic football? No, but I've spoken about it. There we are. I used to read the shinty results on Grampian television. Scotty, I've been eating loads of haggis at the minute. So there we are. Uh, Scotland won at Stirling Bridge. Yes, but I don't think they were playing Stirling Albion. Would you ever become a radio presenter again or stick to the lovely Scotty McClure TikTok lies? What would you suggest, Gavita? The difference with TikTok lives is that the whole world can see you. We're getting people here on from Australia. Mind you, it was the same when I was doing a radio on uh, the internet. Thanks, Tony, for following us. If you haven't followed me, guys, please follow Scotty McClure. 12 million in London, 5 million in Scotland. We still out invent. All of England, well, of course we need Happy School. The Scots are very, very talented, clever people. When did you start TikTok Live? Just about three weeks ago, I think, would be about right. Scotty, you're still Douglas. Yes, absolutely. The Happy Squirrel. Yes, Angie, quite right. There we are. You're welcome, says Tony. I thank you, Tony. Very, very kind of you. 
I love Scotland, says Tony. I think Scotland is so much loved throughout the world because the Scots don't buy into the class system. So, they, you know, their classes. Do you know what's happened to James Sturridge? I haven't heard James recently. What made you or persuaded you to do TikTok? Well, I just wanted to try it, D, because everybody was talking about it. And they said, I don't know if you watch this TikTok. So I went on and a few people came and followed me. And as soon as we got a thousand, we just went live. So what motivated you, got you into TikTok, Scarvator? Just watching it, I thought, this is funny. So there we are. Scotland's one of the best places in the world. I've been to most of Scotland. Good for you. Scotty, what happened to Hearts tonight? Embarrassing. From the jam tops, the jam balls. Oh. Ah. I used to know a lot of the players, and uh, does anybody remember Sir George? George White, the lovely George White, who was a great jambo, and he used to phone the phone in all the time, and I called him Sir George from Clare Maston. Where would you recommend to visit in Scotland? Oh, all of it, Eloise. All of it, Eloise. Am I saying that correct? What days do you go live? Well, we just sort of pop up occasionally random for a bit of a chat chat, a bit of chat chat and a chit chat with a CH. What's your favourite Scottish drink? The water. The water is outstanding. So there we are. I remember a gentleman had come over from Africa and uh, someone said, what do you like most about Scotland? And he said, going to the tap and turning it on and getting fresh water. He loved that. Who's we? Uh, in what way? Eloise. Yes, you are. It's pronounced Eloise. I used to have a picture of Eloise. Was there a very famous Eloise? It was an old picture of a classical woman from, uh, from way back in the classics. Famous Eloise. Scotland is the best band in the entire world. Well, Angie. I remember a dafty saying when I came up to Scotland from England to do the phone in on Scott FM and they said, don't think the Scots will go for that nonsense you do. And the Scots absolutely devoured it and still do. You see, that's what's lovely. Interesting, interesting, Eloise, yes. Yes, see if you can find out. I had a picture. It was a classical a, a black and white picture of a famously classical woman called Eloise. There you are. Bye-bye, nice man. Bye-bye, Maria. Lovely to have you with us. Have a safe and peaceful good night. Uh, great stuff. Can I get a free badge? Well, no, uh, that's not the cost of the badge. We just don't have many. I've got one here, and that's sort of it, really. Scotty McClure says, dinky-doo. I've got one in my hat and a spare one round the back for emergencies, you see. So we've got that one there in case one uh, one broke down. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, my dear. There we are. Sarah's with us. Thank you. What's your favorite painting? Oh, there's so many beautiful paintings. I'll tell you. I love pheasants. Thorburns. Pheasants. Look at that. Uh, and also the matchstock men and matchstock cats and dogs. So there we are. That sort of thing. You look very stylish. I thank you, Eloise. Very, very kind of you. Hello, Scotty, says Cinnables. Hello, Cinnables. Uh, never. I have 400 pounds, <laughs> Sarah. Uh, I have 400 pounds here. No, no, we'll get some proper stuff going because big things are about to happen for McClure. All righty, Scotty. Pleasure as always. So there we are. We Bob still with FM. He wasn't in your league. Don't know what happened to him. Yes, well, he was a bit different, uh, I have to say to me. Only Scotty could have an emergency backup badge. I love it. Well, no, just in case one broke down, you see. Have you ever been on a country walk and been really immersed in the nature? D, I used to live deep in the countryside with a wood that, I was almost the only person in it, the dog and I. 
And it was absolutely magical. The bud life, there were deer in the wood, all that sort of stuff. I've lived deep in the country. I sat in the walled garden of an old country house. I was the only person there and read my book on a summer's afternoon with the bees buzzing about. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Chuck it or screen it. There we are. Uh, what a lovely thing to say, O'Neill. Dinky doo, Anil. Proper dinky doo, yes, absolutely. Uh, I've got a bone to pick with you. Uh, Scotty owns 14 castles. His countryside incarnate. <laughs> what do you like, squirrel? You remind me of Bojo. Yes, but I don't brush my hair with a, a toffee apple. What country house is Johnny? Ah, I don't know if you would know it, John. There we are. Uh, here's somebody asking a very interesting question. Do you have black friends? I have hundreds of black friends. I have people of color all around me. You're funny. Scotty sings a song. No, I can't sing because of COVID, you see. Uh, can I get a shout out? You can. I'll tell you what I might do. Since you've been so good, I'll play you a wee tune on the squeeze box. Would you like that? So no country house. Now, I'm not going to tell you, John, because I know your nose bothers you about these things. You might actually know it. So there we are. There we are. Now, what have we got? I'll tell you one near you, John, would be Hoddam. Uh, what about that? Do you know Hoddam? You've lived the dreams of many, McClure. Yes, it just sort of happens, I say. Yes, says Happy Squirrel. Right, uh, let's do one on the squeeze box. Here is the squeeze box. Yes, and I'll give you a nice wee tune. Okay. Have you ever seen a crested tit? I've heard they're only found in Scotland. I've seen the great tit and I've seen the blue tit. So there we go. Who have we got here? Have you been to see the Queen at Balmoral? No, I haven't been invited. OMG, I grew up with you on Scott FM. Hoddam is Bonnie. Played the golf course too. Yes, and of course down there you've got, um, what else have you got down there? You've got Kinmont. Yes, at Annan. So there we are. Do you know the Scott Lithgow House in Lang Bank? Yes, of course I do. I, I remember being in it in the early days, not long after Sir James had left it. There we are, Gledoch House. It was quite new. And the drums, the big old one at the other side, the drums. Fantastic. Right, here we are. <laughs> squeeze box for you. So that's that. What about that now? Dinky doo. Can you play a tune that's not in B major? No D. Which uh, which would you like in uh, I, I could play one in A major if you prefer that. So yes I can. I can play all sorts of tunes. Scotty, did you meet the Queen and the BBC were love wondering who the lassie was with Scotty? 
They have the Rose of Allendale. Yeti dum daddy. I used to love the Corries singing the Rose of Allendale. Fantastic stuff. We love that. So there we are. Now, how are we doing for time? It's maybe time I wasn't here. That was a lovely wee squeeze. Um, there we are. Can you do a frog impression? Yes, I can. Mm. Mm. <laughs> there we are. Can you shout potato? Why would I, Sarah? I'm wondering. I'm from Greenock, says O'Neill. Absolutely. It's a lovely part of the world to come from. A very, very fine town filled with beautiful people. So there we are. That's what I can say. Can you do an elephant impression? Well, I could make a trunk call. So there we are. Fantastic. I think your ears are flapping when I was doing that there. Now then, um, I think it's time I wasn't here, so I'd better push off. You missed my hysterical joke earlier. What was your hysterical joke, happy squirrel? Sometimes I don't see everything. Can you play some piano for us? I might do it some point, dear. Maybe not do it tonight, but there we are. Dinky-doo, thank you very much. Beautiful people. Is there two in Greenock? Oh. When I was in Greenock, there were 75,000 people. I think there's about 45,000 now or something. How many tickles to make an octopus laugh? Ten tickles. <laughs> so there we go. Now then, here we got here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There we go. Right, I'm from Court Bridge. We like Court Bridge. There we are. Do a Piers Morgan impression. So what, what just walk out. Right, I'm avid enough. No. I'm walking out. <laughs> Tractor John's just joined us. Thank you, Tractor John. I'm just about to push off, guys. Have a lovely, lovely evening. A safe and peaceful good night. Scotty, when will you come back to Greenock? We love Greenock. Classic. You're an icon, says Sarah. Dinky do, everybody. Take great care of yourselves. So there we are. What do you call a man? That's a bit strange, that. I don't quite get that, but I'll have to work that one out. So there we are. Big Plainsley loving it, Scotty. Hey, Big Plainsley. Uh, take great care of your dear selves. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of it all they know. Revoir. And a cheery. Oh, good night. God bless everybody. Dinky-doo.